Hi everyone, I'm Laura Newman from Laura's Lakeshore Stampin' Studio on Facebook. Um, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I just joined in September and I'm really happy with my decision to do that. I've been having a lot of fun playing, making cards. I wanted to let everyone know that we have a, de a select sale going on on some of the designer series paper at Stampin' Up! this month. It will run until October 31st. I do have an open party right now. Um, if you go to my website at Laura Newman, that's N-E-U-M-A-N-N dot Stampin' Up! dot net, um, you can go ahead and click on shop and um, select some of the products that you might be interested. I'm going to be showing you some cards I've made today. But please, if you do decide to order, uh, use host code EBYPKVRX. Here, uh, one of my favorite sets is poinsettia, pendle, poinsettia petals. I absolutely am in love with this set. You can buy it as a bundle. It's in our new Christmas catalog. Um, you can save 10% when you buy the stamps and dies together in the bundle. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with the dies. And, of course, I've been using the Merry Christmas stamp and some of the sentiments. Let me show you the dies real quick. There are a ton of dies in this set. Oh, I just lost a leaf. But you'll get three different size poinsettias, which make the flower that you see here. Um, you've got leaves, you've got little embellishments. It's just an absolutely amazing set. The other die set I used was Beautiful Boughs to uh, go ahead and cut out some of uh, these pine boughs over here. But this is a really, really fun set. I'm going to show you a little technique on how to shape the flower. Um, this is the red velvet paper that is also available in the Christmas catalog. This paper is not on sale, but I believe it's only $6. You get two 12 by 12 sheets. It makes a lot of poinsettia flowers. So I have cut these out, and I want to show you a little trick for shaping them. I'm going to take my bone folder and just kind of very gently pull along the side. I'm going to be doing each of the petals on all three of the flower pieces. And you don't want to pull too hard. You just want to kind of curve the paper, not bend it. I love how beautifully this paper embosses. Can you see that in this light? It really picks up the details well. But it rather um, debosses the lines into the paper. That's the large leaf. And again, here's the small leaf. Then I'm going to uh, take my tool here. My take your pick tool. I'm going to pull this end off. I'm going to insert it so that I have the large ball tip. And I'm just going to gently press in here to flatten that a little bit. This works better if you have a piece of craft foam, but you can do it on paper. And that's just going to depress the center part of the flower so that it sits down more. Then I'm going to come back and gently bend these up right where I'm near the center, just very gently. And now you can see how that shapes and gives your flower a more three-dimensional look to each piece of the flower. And we'll do that to the last piece. And there we go. And then I'll add a little bit of glue in between each piece and stack them up and layer them, turning the flower petals so that they stagger. And I'll add my centerpiece as I did on this flower. Um, I also cut out some of the leaves. I use the bone folder to shape those slightly. 
Can you see how they're slightly curved up here? I embossed the Merry Christmas on a piece of old olive cardstock and, of course, matted in red, the real red cardstock. The leaves and the pine boughs on this particular piece are using uh, shaded spruce. And, of course, this is just some of the points out of paper. And, of course, I have some of them cut out in our gold foil paper, also available in the Christmas catalog right now. So I'm going to set the flower aside. I also want to show you some other point set of cards I've made. Here is another one. Again, a lot of the same pieces. This one's using old olive, garden green, gold, and very vanilla for the background. Whisper white on the cardstock. And it's just beautiful. And, of course, the background paper is from the uh, points out of place um, paper, designer paper, as is this one on this card. Whoops, I'm throwing my flower around. Again, here's another piece from the uh, points out of place designer series paper. All the same elements. I've used the stamp. Even the wood grain comes in the points out of place. The paper is double-sided, and I believe you get 12 double-sided sheets, two of each pattern. And then I also use the poinsettia, but this time I'm using Snowflake Sp Splendor Designer Series paper. Vellum cardstock. This is wonderful cardstock. It's not, it's not your typical vellum paper. This is much heavier, more like a lightweight cardstock. It is translucent. Um, can you see the shine on this? I took my Winka Stella pen and just colored it in on the flower. I've also uh, touched the leaves with it. Again, I cut some of the, embe uh, the embellishment pieces out in silver foil paper. Stamped on vellum here and then went over it with clear embossing ink. Also, once we're onto the snowflake paper, if you are on FaceTube, look up Laura's Lakeshore Stampin' Studio. Please follow and like. I do about two Facebook Lives each week. These are some of the cards I did today for World Stamping Day. This one is just adorable. It's using a set, the sentiments from a set called Senior Moments. And also, uh, Don't Stop Believing. That's where the little melted snowman is from. But this one says, Happy Birthday. Is it hot in here, or is it just the candles on your cake? Sadly, Frosty's first cup of hot cocoa turned out to be his last. Again, this stamp set you will find in the Christmas catalog as well, as you will find this one, which is Snow Wonder. And I believe the coordinating dies for it are Snow Time. And again, if you purchase the stamp and die together, you will save 10% on the bundle. I'm also using some stamps from a grandkid, which is in the big catalog. So these here I stamped and cut out, and this. And on the inside, no amount of money could ever show how much I love you, but here's some anyway. And again, these last three cards, these two and the next one, you will see on my Facebook page, Laura's Lakeshore Stampin' Studio. And this is a quick, easy gatefold card, again, but a little bit different than the last one. This uses a full panel to open up. It says, I can't thank you enough. And this one is using Stitch So Sweetly dies and So Sentimental stamps. Again, when you purchase those as a bundle, 10% off when you buy them together. This is some of the uh, ribbon that you can find in the Christmas catalog. I've added some pearl embellishments and then it opens and there is room for me to write a handwritten sentiment on the inside. This card took me all of maybe 10 minutes to create. Well, thanks for watching me. And again, I do have an open party um, going for the month. Um, Again, if you do go to my website, lauranewman.stampinup.net, and you do order, please use host code EBYPKVRX. Thanks for joining me. Oh, wait, one more. I almost forgot. I wanted to show you a little bit of the plaid tidings paper. 
this card is using it in the background here and here and of course my moose from my merry moose punch is cut out from that the happy birthday phrase is from here's a card and here is the paper pack this is six inch paper it's double sided show you some of the patterns but it is absolutely beautiful fall and wintry colors different pattern on every side you're getting four of each pattern here's some in blue and pink with yellow on the back perfect for again fall and winter cards um, a lot of these I'm particularly impressed with this because you can use these on masculine cards as with this birthday card which I made for my husband his birthday is Monday and I'll just show you very quickly a few more of the patterns that one's oatmeal here's this one the back side is black and white but I plan on picking up an extra package of this because these will make great masculine cards all year round absolutely fabulous paper and again this paper is also 15% off in the sale here's a new pattern and on the back we have more of is it rich raspberry or Mary Merlot but beautiful colors I love the brightness of this one excellent masculine cards on both sides here and here and last but not least this one so again um, thank you for joining watching my video and uh, if you can please join Laura's Lakeshore Stampin Studio on Facebook and I look forward to seeing you next time happy sta ha happy stamping bye